Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to use territory management inside of your Zoho CRM system. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system of course you'll come to the home screen. Now from here you want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So we'll go to the cog and then from here we want to go to users and control and then to territory management. Now, if you've not used territory management before, you'll be presented with this screen. It's identical to mine, with the exception of the blue button saying get started as opposed to resume. If we go ahead and press the get started button, uh, we'll then be presented with the territory hierarchy in which we are going to set up our territories. Now, territories can, are all defined by criteria that we set. And essentially what happens is a record is allocated to a territory based on criteria that that record meets. And we can set criteria for account records because as we know, all records stem back to the accounts module or all modules stem back to the accounts module. Or we can set up criteria for deals. Now these are the only two modules that we can use. First off, I'll show you how to set criteria for accounts. What we firstly need to do is go to the blue, uh, blue button, press new territory. And from here, we want to give our territory a name. So as I said, we can decide, uh, decide what the territory is going to be used for. In this example, I'm going to say uh, London, uh, London accounts. So I'm going to create a territory that essentially assigns all accounts that are based in London to this particular territory. So we've given it a name. You can obviously call your territory, your new territory, whatever you like. Uh, we need to assign a territory manager, so who is in charge of this territory. Uh, you can assign, again, who is most applicable. Parent territory, as this is the only one underneath the top level of hierarchy, so obviously it's hierarchy system, uh, the one below, and then we, we start building that out. But as this is the only the first one below, then we'll leave it as is. And we can add users to the territory. So of course, any, for example, sales representatives or the set or the team based in London that need to be using the London accounts, we'd add these users to our new territory. And then we can set permissions as well. So we do, do we want them to read only or read, write and delete? Now here, as you can see, we can now set our account rules. So in this particular example, I'm gonna use billing city is London. And that's going to be our criteria. So any new account record that's billing city is equal to London. It will then be that record will then be assigned to this particular territory. As you can see here, we have the plus button and we can add multiple uh, criteria. And we can also decide whether it's an and or relationship. And we can have that for multiple different um, different criteria. Uh, and here down the bottom, you can see the criteria pattern. It is easier to do it on the left here with the and or. Now I'm going to remove these. Um, you can add a description for the territory, but I'm not going to. And then just press the create button. So now we've created that new territory. I'm now going to demonstrate how to use uh, or how to assign deals as well. So if you go to the view settings button on the right hand side here, and you'll see the deal territory rule. It says disabled at the moment. All we want to do is press the enable button and then press I understand enable now. So this deal territory rules have been successfully enabled, which means we can now um, assign deals based on territory. So what I'm going to do again is press the new territory button and then go deals London uh, large deals. So essentially what I want to do any large deals that are based in London, I want to assign them to a particular group. So I then again assign the manager uh, and then we can decide our parent territory. Now I'm gonna actually put this under our London accounts. So in order for this to go through, it has to firstly, the account has to be based in London and then the deal has to be in excess of X amount and I will, I will assign that in the eligibility down below. So of course, again, we need to add our users and then assign permissions as well. Now, as you can see here, we've got account rule. We're not gonna use that unless you want to, you can, 
but I'm just gonna use our deal rules or set the deal criteria. And to do that, we need to press the drop down arrow there, and then we need to assign our criteria. So I am going to say uh, amount is greater than 10,000. So this is essentially saying any account that is based in London that has a deal with the amount larger than £10,000, we're going to assign to these users and this territory. And then press create. And as you can see, a hierarchy is starting to build out and we can start establishing this for all different factors inside of your business. But that is how to do it inside of your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use territory management inside of your Zoho CRM system. Uh, if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. Uh, my details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.